subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us good morning everyone today we have with us mr chinmay gupta a seasoned professional with over 10 years of experience working at global tech giants like samsung microsoft google and airtel with core focus on driving product revenue establishing sustainable and inclusive products building and nurturing teams making data driven decisions and improving customer experience Mr Chinmay started his journey as a software developer and moved up the ladder to become product leader. He is the founder of Favot, a product based startup building solutions to improve productivity in the family management space. So I come from a tech and product based background. So I wanted to build a product based business which solves real world problems. So initially I had a couple of ideas and I did my user and market research to evaluate the market potential and uh, how big a idea could be how sustainable and feasible a business could be made out of it and then I zeroed it on this particular idea with respect to the family management space so uh, first I would like to tell you about what family management actually means so everybody lives in a family setup and family doesn't only only means your blood relatives it can be like your flatmates you are living like a family with your flatmates with your friends or maybe your relatives so, so when people live in a family setup they do a lot of things for their families and for their home under the accommodation they are living in such mm-hmm. as shopping for different things high value item low value items servicing of different uh, appliances or household items taking care of health care of each other managing finances managing the documents maybe it's receipts certificates or uh, some warranty card health prescriptions lab records something like that or they may it may even include planning with respect to the trips events social functions birthday parties anniversaries etc so there are a lot of activities so everything that we do for the families and home come under this family management space and mm. uh, what i have observed that uh, a lot of these activities are done in a quite traditional and uh, inefficient way and mm. uh, more often than not the responsibility of managing a home and a family lies on one or two person rather than a shared responsibility so i wanted to change this uh, way of working with respect to the family management and mm. uh, i want to build a product based solution which makes the family and home management a shared responsibility and simplify the journey so that mm-hmm. nobody should feel the burden of managing a home and nobody should uh, should actually sacrifice their ambitions or dreams just to manage their home and with that purpose i started fabot so mm-hmm. it's a productivity suite um, focusing on the families and helping them in automating their few of the family related activities and improving okay. the coordination among family members to save up the time so at the high level product manager is responsible the or responsible for the product success hmm. and product is said to be successful only when the users are successful who are using the product if users hmm. are not successful then no matter how good your product is or how great technology it has used it is of no use if mm. it is not benefiting the user Correct. so a product manager has to ensure that the mm. pro- that the product that they are building or they are managing the product is solving the actual user problem in Correct. the best possible way as a product manager i used to start my day by measuring or monitoring the product performance so mm. i used to i had this habit of creating the reports of uh, various metrics that the right. that tells me that how my product is working in the real world it takes me around half an hour to go through all the reports or the product performance metrics and just to monitor them if something needs my urgent attention or if there is something urgent that needs to be done there or everything is working fine or is okay. there any anomaly that that's how i start my day and then i go about syncing up with the different teams ensuring that they are unblocked ensuring mm-hmm. that they know what they are doing what they have to do and why they are doing that so telling uh the purpose along with the activity along with the project is equally important because mm-hmm. then only they can also think they can also apply their thought process to figure out the best possible solution this part of my day uh, involves in ensuring that the current progress of the product development is on track mm-hmm. and once that is sorted everybody is unlocked 
then my next phase of my day starts and which involves the planning and figuring out what to do next so to ensure that uh, to figure out what needs to be done i used to talk to the users customers or i used to talk to the customer facing teams such as mm-hmm. sales team or customer support teams or operations team if in on yeah. case by case basis that um understanding their pain points understanding user mm-hmm. pain points what are the gaps what are we doing good what we what are their needs to uh, make the user successful mm-hmm. and then collecting all these insights building the solutions building the road map refining the road map and uh, defining the action plan and how i can collaborate with the current uh, working current projects this this is this planning is the second phase of my day and once that is done then taking the alignment uh, keeping everyone aligned from leadership to the mm-hmm. mid level managers to the uh, actual executives this type of alignment takes up the uh, like uh, the last part of my day so becoming a great product manager um it's it's a journey in itself it's mm-hmm. quite evident so nobody can be great product manager i don't know what <laughs> what do we mean even by <laughs> great product manager <laughs> it can be good it can be better it, yeah. it cannot be best it can never be best because the mm-hmm. goal post is always changing but yeah. anyways and in my experience i have realized few things uh, which if somebody can include can apply in their career then they can be a better product manager so first yeah. is the understanding and this is especially important for the early at the early stage uh, people who are in the early stage of their career that first is to first thing is the willingness to learn all the aspects of product management generally at the entry level people get a very narrow scope of a product development and my advice would be that they should not be they should not limit themselves only to the execution mm. while executing they should also learn what all different things happen in the product development what content we are putting in what messaging how we are launching it into the market mm. what are the different challenges we face when we build a new functionality what are the pros and cons how the decision making is done mm. how the leadership is aligned how we even update to the leadership these are the different things which all goes into the successful product development so mm. somebody has to and it takes a time so somebody should be willing to learn all the different things that happen in the product development see it observe mm. discuss and learn that is one thing second thing is another practice to be data driven um okay. we have the habit to go by intuition that this looks good this color is fine or this functionality will be very good it may be right it may not be but there has to be a habit of uh, validating your hypothesis opinions through data it may not it may be possible that you don't have the required data all the time then you have to figure out some approximations some other hypothesis validations or get some required data from various sources but uh validate or justify your decisions with the data as much as possible mm. that's another habit and uh, third advice i would say is uh developing a vision mm. to view the product from the 10000 feet view like the view at which typically ceos or cxo level people see also look ability to look at the atomic level of the product even what goes at the back end front end what is happening in the database how the database is are even structured if we talk about software product hardware products is also like similar thing like in mm. the different component level also if you are able to see so you will be have the understanding of what happens at the minute level to the the grand grand level and once you will have that vision then you can make better decisions and hence can be a great product manager because you will understand entire functionality entire system entire ecosystem mm. in which that uh, product operates and the last thing i would want to emphasize on the documentation which is mm. quite overlooked part people generally don't like to document everything but it's an essential skill for the product manager because product manager is a cross functional role and mm. uh, to keep everybody aligned to keep to keep ensuring that everybody in their mind has the same thought uh, sorry same objective same goal it has to be documented mm. and that habit of documentation is another thing which i would say uh, is very very important if somebody wants to become a great product manager
it's actually quite different um i would say the first product management is like outward looking uh, function which means that uh, a product manager has to look outside the mm. company their product that what real world needs what my product can offer what are the gaps what my product does good what where my product is lacking everything that is like outward looking focus project managers are some are is a function which is mostly inward looking they uh, tend to work with internal teams more to ensure mm. that the project is uh, completed by the right set of people with the right collaboration in a timely manner and uh, ensuring that the quality is also met if i have to explain this to you in another way that uh, product managers are responsible for defining the vision that what's need what needs to be built and it's, it cannot be just a high level uh, statement it has to be mm. very very specific and very very clear what needs to be built and why that is the responsibility of a product manager and once that is defined then that what part has to be broken down into smaller pieces uh, which mm. we call the projects and then project manager comes into picture to and project manager is responsible to ensure that the project the specific component of the entire product vision is executed well and mm. the quality is maintained in a timely manner i'm sure different people would have different uh, um, approaches to do this Mm-hmm. um what i figured out that um, i have to build a system so mm-hmm. that uh, the information that i want should come to me rather mm-hmm. than i go about and searching for the information because i don't know what i am even searching for okay <laughs> so to do that uh, the approach that i follow is that um, i found that people who are like veterans and who are like very very known of figures mm-hmm. in my domain let's say in product management and i subscribe to them in that mm. newsletter i subscribe to their newsletters and um, just uh, let them coming in, in into my different folders in my email mm. and um, i read it i read upon the newsletters in my leisure time there is no fixed rule on that and if i find that some of the newsletters are not relevant to me then i unsubscribe them and i follow the new people mm. or new mm. newsletters mm. apart from that i would say linkedin is again a great platform to yeah. connect with people who are really knowledgeable in your domain and just follow them who are very active and they should be very active also Correct. for the content sharing so in that way the information will just come to you you don't have mm. to go anywhere i as i can see product management is kind of a hot cake right now everybody mm. wants to go into the product management but for me it's like any any other career field all okay. the career fields are important otherwise they won't exist mm. and product management is also just a career field so first of all freshers have to read up on and do their secondary research uh, to understand what actually product management is what are the different skill set it are needed and if possible I'll talk to few people who are, who have spent some time into this just to understand whether it is a right fit for them or not hmm. it may happen that they may totally feel alienated with the concept of product management that is fine yeah. but if they have certain level of initial confidence that yeah it may be a good thing for me then the best thing is to just apply for jobs um hmm. for the product management and not just any job um if i would be a fresher at this point i would think uh, uh, while applying for the jobs or while talking to the different companies it doesn't matter whether it's a startup or mnc mm. i would say see that which company offers me actual product management experience that okay. is one thing second thing um, what is the growth potential like if i spend mm. two years three years in this domain will i go somewhere or will i be stuck in the doing the same thing and uh, it should be a decent compensation always it has to be there has, there should not be like a free job the entry level jobs are almost always execution focused and that's mm. the right thing to do also so okay. they should be like aware and they should be ready to learn the ground realities of the product management then only they can become a leader in the future like every big thing that somebody wants to achieve it is it is a journey it's mm. always a journey so the motto i live by is trust the process mm. and uh, just just trust the process and uh, keep working on it 
something or other thing will come out definitely mm. and that's it so one quote more to trust the process that's an okay. amazing quote sir yeah. thank you so much thank you so much for being here and uh, i'm sure our viewers have learned a lot from what you just told about product management and your company as well family management uh, thank you so yeah. much sir and i hope uh, uh, we can do this sometime again definitely for sure um, thanks thanks for this opportunity i'm glad to be here okay thank you sir subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us